Welcome back. Today we're here with Mitch Barnes and you are with Saddleback East, right? Mm -hmm. Saddleback East, yes. It's a dirt bike riding club that's situated right between Milton and Bedford. Our address is Bedford. <laughs> but if you're hungry, you go where? We go to Milton. <laughs> And that's kind of cool. That kind of splits it up. So now you have an event going on this year that's really special. What is that event? Yes, it's the middle of July, the 18th and 19th. We have a vintage motorcycle event, which is every much a beauty contest on these old dirt bikes as it is a race. And we are supporting our veterans by giving veterans an opportunity to come to our event and ride a race for free. That's wonderful. And, and that's this specific event that they're going to be riding for free. We want to make sure they know it's not every event that's out there. Right. It's, it's ours. And that's what makes us a little different than the other 20 national events. Right. This organization schedules events from California all the way to Florida. And we're excited to have it here in our region. And we're one of the few nonprofits. You know, our club is 1,300 acres. Right. And it's all owned by a, a 501. That is great. So you could get lost there for a couple of days, couldn't you? <laughs> it would take more than a couple of days to ride all the trails on those 1,300 acres. And you all are making new trails all the time, aren't you? We have to, yes. And we're trying to be a club that uh, is growing, but we're very family friendly. One of the biggest things that makes, I think, us a little different than some of the outdoor, other outdoor events is we don't allow drinking. Right. So uh, we are teammates with the high school, so if we have an opportunity to hire students to help, you know, we try to give them some money to go towards their stick and ball sports. Right. Obviously we coordinate that with the principal and the coaches and that right. sort of thing. Now with this event, you, you do raise money at this event. Mm -hmm. Where does that, that funding go? Because you don't just keep it, you actually share it. Right, as a nonprofit, we really are not supposed to make a lot of money, but we historically have been given money to Bedford, fire and Milton fire and we help the sheriff's office over there has a benevolence fund we give some money to that and then we help USA cares mm -hmm. that's a post 9-11 uh, military support organization that reaches way past our region right. but it's very uh, uh, rewarding for us to raise a few thousand dollars that can help veterans now you might let people know veterans know what that is but you might let other people know what is that organization? How does it help the veterans? Well, if you're a post 911 vet, you have an extremely high divorce rate. You a lot of times will have difficulty with PTSD, so you need to get a referral to a physician that knows how to handle that. And you might need help making a house payment or two. Right. So that's what this organization does. It's been around for more than 15 years and any branch of the military from Coast Guard to Army to Navy to Marines, they can receive uh, counseling there, financial, medical, marriage. That's wonderful. That, that's very beneficial. Well, it's something that uh, our country, I remember that morning of 9-11. Of wow, here comes an airplane flying right in those Twin Towers. And it's, it's needed because we find that a lot of people are having a tough time in both finances and personal stuff. Right. Well, this is great. So now, at, during this event, you have sign-ups that you have to do. So how can people sign up for this event and what do they need to remember to bring when they come to the event? Well, they have a chance to sign up in advance online. You know, our organization is called ARMA, A-R-H-M-A, and you can sign up online, use your credit card to pay, register for your classes. But otherwise, it's $10 to get in, and it's about $50 per event as they want to race. And we have uh, trials in the morning, which is the slow technical dirt bikes. And then we have 1974 and older motocross racing that begins about 11. Now, 11 will be our big kickoff, and that's when we're going to do our military celebration. Right. And we're going to try to make sure that all the region that if you've served in the military, even if you're not a dirt biker, come to our event because we've got something nice for you for serving our country. And that'll be at 11 on Saturday. And then on Sunday morning, we start early with a woods race for an hour. And then about 1030, we start racing 
1975 to about 1985. That discipline of motorcycle. Now, with this club that you're in, there's memberships with the club. There are. And people can check that out where? How can they check out the well, membership part? Saddlebackeast.org is our website. We have once a month meetings where we take new members. Um, we're pretty tight on membership. We're fortunate. I was just talking to you about that. And that's how they join us. You know, they have to right. be recommended to join our club. And once they have a nice dirt bike and uh, most 95% of the members are males, uh, but we end up all bringing our wives, and we have about 10 ladies that are members as well. We right. have a women's riding group and that sort right. of thing. So they can do either one. Either one. So now, with all that, how where are your meetings at? Do, where do you have the meet? You know, are the meetings at Saddleback or are well, they this whole else? interesting COVID nineteen thing has been yes, kind of it's, interesting. It's kind of changed and things up. We're going to follow the suggested guidelines at our event. And we are going to have the, the 11th of July, which will be our meeting at Saddleback East. So anybody can come to the membership meeting. And we generally have some people every single meeting wanting to come to join. Oh, that's wonderful. That just keeps you going. It does. It keeps us going. You need new people to come in. and We will probably follow as the things, let's say, loosen up a little back to a restaurant style meeting and do it over dinner. But we've not been able to do that the last couple of months. Right. Well, outside's good. That's always good. Yeah, outside is good. So that's wonderful. Now, with all of this, how did you get involved with this? What made <laughs> you decide you wanted to be part of Saddleback? Well, my father took me and my brother racing as young men, and it was good because it kept us out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Then I got back into riding at the suggestion of a friend. And that's how I met Saddleback. It really is about the only game in town that you can always show up with a place to ride. And then I have a number of club members. One uh, is a Navy SEAL who has lost his left leg at the knee. Oh. And he's a club member. And we all just banded together behind him and said, we're going to make a point to honor our military at Saddleback East. So his name's Todd Miller. He's got his leg cut off. He's wonderful, and when I was in college pushing paper around, he was protecting my rear end, jumping out of Blackhawks. Oh, yeah. But he got us going. That's and, awesome. And we've got a number of guys and gals in our club that served our military. So they can, now, on the weekends, hmm? how does that work? Do you have visitors come in on the weekends? Is it just for the club? Because they're going to be asking me how, you know, if I want to go ride a dirt bike, can I go there? Well, they so can we as long that. as they are uh, accompanied by a member. We don't charge for guests. Right. So each member can have a guest. And it generally starts by through the website. And I'm one of the people that receive the request for riding. Mm -hmm. And we meet people up there, escort them, and let them ride. So if they do want to ride, they may not know a member. But if they email you, you can pair them up with someone. Yes. Now, on race day, there. they can just show up. Yes. Race day, they can or show up. Or event days. Yes. Event days and race day, they can show up. Mm -hmm. Other than that, they need to contact you They have you to guys. be invited. And then the, the it's members will. It's easy, though. Yeah. Because we have uh, about 200 members, and we've got somebody going up every day of the week, not just the weekend. Right. So they can, they can go meet somebody at Saddleback mm -hmm. and go for a ride. Yes, they can. Well, that's awesome. Now, does it cost to do that? No. If you go to just visit and ride? No, it doesn't. Oh. But, but, you, but part of our procedure is assigning the release. Yes, you know, So of if somebody gets injured. And we have that in our uh, mantra is we want to take guests, motorcycle enthusiasts. And we're yes. looking for uh, people that want a family environment. So if they wanted a ruckus, we're probably not the place. But, you, well, it's a safe place to ride. It is. And with that many acres, how many acres again? <laughs> 1,300. That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> and in this region, it goes all the way from Bells Ridge Road to 42. So oh, it is a goodness. lot. Yes. Well, I'll have to come out there and see that. I mean, I can't. We could probably shoot a whole clip of you riding a dirt bike. Well, now, I used to ride a dirt bike. <laughs> Taught my grandson how to ride a dirt bike, so yeah, I know how to ride one. But uh, I used to do some things you shouldn't do on a dirt bike, but that's okay. 
I'm still here. But now with all of this, there are times that you have events and people need a place to stay. How far away is Saddleback East from Madison, Indiana? Well, Madison is, a, is the closest, closest city to Saddleback East. Um, we're probably about five miles closer than even in Carrollton, Kentucky. But in Madison, you've got uh, a network of yes. uh, Airbnbs, and I think the building we're in okay. even has a yes, upstairs. place to stay. Yeah. So we're going to put that on our website because okay. our, our crowd, probably a third of them will come and bring their Class A motorhomes, but then there's a third that are local. Right. They'll go back to their house, like me, spend the night. Right. But then that other third's going to look, be looking for places to stay. And, and that would be Madison, Indiana, because it's so close, you know, they can... And nice. Yeah. And nice, yes, close and nice. Yeah, there's hotels here, there's Airbnbs, there's um, also bed and breakfast. Um, there's a winery that has a bed and breakfast. So there's, there's quite a bit of places to stay here. And then there's Richwood on the river, which is right there on um, um, 36 in Milton. Oh, right there. Yeah, so you've got that one. So there's several places, and those are all listed. We can put that listing up. Okay, and we'll so. put that on our Saddleback site as well, because yes. our last event uh, was last summer. We had 17 states oh, represented. Oh, wow. Arkansas, Florida, right. Texas, Pennsylvania, New York. Well, that is great. That's, that's tourism at its best, isn't it? <laughs> So wonderful. Well, is there anything else we need to make sure people understand about this? Well, I want anyone that has served in the military yes. to know that they are welcome at our place and they'll see a lot of their comrades. And it's a fun event. So if you like motorsports and you might not be into dirt bike racing, it's still a really good day because we have a lot of good things to see. And again, these motorcycles, and I work on mine as well. Right. It's every much a beauty contest as it is a race. So they can come and watch the race mm -hmm. and just visit with other veterans. Yes. And then if they have a dirt bike, they can actually race in it and or just bring it and show it off. We have about half the crowd that just comes. They bring their dirt bike. They may not even race, but they they ride it around the pits mm -hmm. and see how their model looks against another person's. And the whole time, by our theme of support the military, uh, we're trying to just be a real positive community asset. And we've got this little jewel right here in our region. Right. We think it's the largest dirt bike club in the United States right here in our region. Well, that's wonderful. That, I, I think it's important for everybody to understand because I know people here don't understand how to get into the Saddleback they think that they can't go there. But if they would just remember, if you just call Mitch and there's a member, they'll meet you out there and let you ride on the on the property. So mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Now and we've, we make arranged, sure they know that. We've got um, a group of females that are meeting today, yes. as a matter of fact. You know, one of our members, Julia, who's a very accomplished rider herself, she's going to lead that tour around. But we do tours all the time and let oh, people have fun. Wow. And we don't charge for it. Right. And, and I think that's great, too, that you're not charging them. So a dad and his sons or a mom and the kids can go out there, mm -hmm. you know, and they can ride dirt bikes all day with somebody from Saddleback right. Club. It's just more or less you just have a tour guide. You have a tour guide. You have a tour guide, so make sure you find your way out. <laughs> that many acres, yeah. you got to make sure they can get back out. So this is wonderful, Mitch. I think this has been great, very informative. Well, for thank you for having us. We are a club that's been around for 29 years. Yes. And we're trying to be more uh, active in the community and making sure that our local school system, the, that the youth have enough money to buy volleyballs and footballs right. and whatever sport they're playing. So that's why we try to give some money towards the school. And if you're hurt, we like it that the fire department already knows where we are. <laughs> yes. Um, that's not too often, though. No, 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 it's not. Not where you are. It's no. not at all. So that's great. Well, is there anything else we need to tell them? Are we good? Just come see us on July 18th and July 19th. So we'll have a lot of fun. Well, you heard him. You make sure you make it out to this event. If you're a veteran, by all means, go. It's not going to cost you to get in there. Now wait, it does cost to get into the ten dollar. Yeah, it's a ten dollar gate fee. Gate fee, and then of course, you know, if you're a veteran, why you need to go visit with your friends. That'd be great. So. And our racing is not a NASCAR high intensity 
So we have a number of people that the first race they ever do is our event. So we have it novice, and we just love to have them. I think they'll have a good time. Oh, awesome. Well, like you heard Mitch, try to make it out to this event. And thank you to our sponsors for making all of this possible. And a special thank you to you for watching.